Hello guys, it's Rad and welcome to the channel. Welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, March 11 to March 17th, 2019. And as per usual, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Leo star sign and for that reason, is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single uh, different Leo. So in this video, uh, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy uh, in the spread. But ultimately, at the end, uh, for better accuracy, you will have to align your personal situation with the general reading. Now, if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Taro, then uh, that is a subject of a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the uh, description of this video and on the very front page uh, you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So uh, going to the first card that will uh, regard Leo uh, for this week. That is going to be the moon card. That is the very topic of Leo. The second card, this is going to be the things that they should not do throughout the week. And that is all regarding the topic that is going to be the lover's card. The third one, it is the things that they should do regarding the topic. So these couple of cards are guidance here. That is going to be the Knight of Cups. And the last card, which is the final outcome of growth, should Leo follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the uh, Chariot card. So once again, the Moon card, then it is the Lover's card, followed by the uh, Knight of Cups, and the last one, this is going to be the Chariot card. All right, so... Uh, Leo's this week, it's, uh, it's a week where you guys have to really step up for yourself and take, take the matters in your own, uh, in your own hands. Now, uh, according to these cards, um, I could say some of you, I don't want to say many, but some of you are in a such situation where they may feel themselves kind of like hopeless or helpless or you name it, you know, hoping that, you know, things are going to get better on their own accord. Well, guess what? With this reading, it's it's highly unlikely that the things are going to get better on their own accord. But what the reading points here, guys, is that you can definitely do something about it. In other words, you can definitely alter your outcomes. <clears throat> and so the first card, which is the moon card. It's a sign of uh, insecurity and vagueness. It's a sign of ambivalency here. And it's also, however, a sign that we should not quit. Okay? So, whatever uh, this week manifests or this reading here throughout the week manifests itself in the field where you're feeling uh, most vulnerable at. And it is exactly the... Um, the area of your life that you need to kind of give additional attention and that you kind of pay extra extra efforts in it. Now with the moon card, it's um, how can I place it? It's it will be fruitful if you stop daydreaming. Okay, it, it's gonna be a fruitful as well if you stop hoping that someone else is gonna step up for you, which ain't gonna be the case here, unfortunately, especially having the chariot card at the end, it means that if you want improvement, you are the one who has to get that improvement. No one else can actually make improvement for you, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. And uh, on top of that, the moon here points that maybe some of your ideas of how to do those things are rather how can I place it, uh, unexertable or irrexertable. So in other words, you cannot manifest them. So it will, be, uh, it will be a good thing if at the start of the week, Monday and Tuesday, you take a bit of a time, you know, to kind of like rethink your strategy and strategies and uh, basically discern what can actually happen from what it's 
pure celluloid statement or a celluloid expectation of your behalf. The accompanied card here with the moon, this is going to be the Queen of Cups and uh, the formation is uh, passive supporters and that is a, a card of confirmation that uh, most of you guys are willing to better wait and hope that things are going to uh, be to how can I place it uh, to shape themselves on their own accord instead of actually stepping out for oneself and do something about it. It, it, it to me it does look like as managing some sort of a crisis here and there just to give you an example let's say that you stop talking with uh, your boyfriend or with your girlfriend and instead doing something about it you are going to sit there hoping that they're gonna make the, the, the first move or oh, guess what it's not gonna happen not at least throughout this week and it is highly advisable according to this reading that if you want reconciliation, if you want that person back, pick up the damn phone and do something or do something about it. You know, go where they work or try to schedule a meeting or, or something, you know, something. Do not sit into one place once again and hoping or rather and even worse, believing that things are going to resolve on their own accord. Um, it's important when we do have the moon card, especially in the, uh, in the prime position, and that is a week of action because for cancer, I think we had a moon card once again, but that was a week of inaction, right? So they was not supposed to do anything <clears throat> and see, uh, apart from just waiting, but that's not your case, Leo, um, for you, when the moon card appears as a topic and you have to do something about it, it is important not to give yourself away to the daydreaming and to the, um, how can I place it, to the, I will say it that way, to the foolish ideas, okay? To the ideas that does not are not supported with existing convictions, that are not supported with any kind of proof or determination that one can exert behind them. So the things that you should not do here throughout the week, that is going to be uh, the lover's card. And the lover's first thing says that in order for you to make some improvement, you got to step outside of your zone of harmony or comfort zone. You can say it either way, but I think that they differentiate from one another. So zone of harmony, meaning if that you got to go out of your way in order to achieve your goals or your aims. You want that reconciliation? Well, your way, you think that your way is to wait that person to call you? Well, you gotta go out of your way. Do something that it is lack of, uh, do something that it kind of goes against your harmonious state so you can provoke some sort of an action. Additionally to the lover's card, it does look like that you don't have much of a choice here, should you want, of course, the thing to, uh, the thing to happen. This card points that there is only one way how you can do the things right, and it's kind of like comes close to the mind. This is something I like to say. If truth exists, there is only one truth, and there is only one way to say it. If there is if you can say something in many ways, then that is not true. Then that is not a truth at all. There is only one way to say the truth. Therefore, in this case, if you want things to happen the right way, there is only one way how you can approach the situation. Now, at the start of the week, because we do have the moon card, maybe you can be, how can I place it, ambivalent and kind of like reluctant, which way you should approach the situation. And that is perfectly fine. Like I said, this week is a week of action, but that doesn't mean that you have to, you know, jump into it straight away. As long as, you know, it's fine for you to take some time to rethink your strategies, like I said, and to uh, basically adopt the best possible standpoint that you can do so. But with this card, it, it kind of like support once again the thesis here that your problems are not going to resolve on their own accord. If you want to resolve your problems, either career or either relationship one, or either in your relationship, excuse me, it is you guys that has to do something about it. Not someone else, not the universe, not the destiny, if you believe in it, you know, but you. You have the opportunity and the right 
to shape your outcome I would say the way you want, but it is not exactly the way you want because your outcome is going to be shaped exactly as how much effort you throw in it. So you fought with your ex or with your previous boyfriend or a girlfriend, you broke up because you fought. Well, now it's time to make some efforts, you know, to kind of recuperate that relationship because with these cards, they ain't going to unless they're not Leos. OK, so if you are double Leo, well, then you are in luck. Things are going to go much more symbiotic here and uh, you both are going to make efforts. But for example, if your partner is a cancer, as we saw we in the cancer reading, you know, they are waiting for some sort of a uh, an insight. And if you don't do your move this week, the insight is going to be, well, that, that person doesn't really kind of count on me that much. They don't want me that much. So they don't make, you know, the move. And why should I, you know, so there is their insight. But if you do the move, the insight is going to be completely different. That is just the insight is going to be this person loves me. They want to get in touch with me back again, uh, back again, and so on and so forth. So it's very important here, guys. That is in case you know your partner is cancer. But uh, <clears throat> you know, you. I hope that you get my point here. Throughout this week, uh, when you want something, you know, you gotta go and get it because it's not gonna be given to you by right or by uh, or by a chance, because. Something does not belong to somebody because, you know, this is how it's written in the stars. Something belongs to the one who takes it. And this week, you got to stand up from your butt and take what you want. The additional card to the lovers, this is going to be the two of swords. And the formation is active supporters here. And for what it seems, uh, we have a, a huge disturbance into your stillness. Okay, so definitely things that you are going that you have, that you will have to do are gonna go outside of your comfort zone of your uh, of your zone of harmony as well. Maybe also with these couple of cards, you will have to disrupt some sort of an equilibrium in between relationships and communications. Not with the person that you are chasing after, in case this is a romantic relationship or a project, but with those who are in the peripheral environment of the matter, you know, like, for example, common friends, you know, colleagues that are not involved into your project and so on and so forth. Now, also with these cards, uh, you should not wait for any kind of additional information or a clue. Now, what these cards are pointing is that you do have all the clues needed. All right. It is just it all comes to that how courageous you are to act upon the clues and the fact that you possess at this uh, at this particular moment. And uh, with these couple of cards as well, I think that your logical expression into the world itself is going to tell you that, you know, you should not wait any longer, but actually do something about it. Do something for your family, do something for your relationship uh, or do something for your career as well, for the problems into your career. That is, if you um, count on them that much that you are stating. OK, so. Kind of like, and to me, it's very peculiar, you know, you can't state that you love someone and you don't get in touch with them because your ego, it's, it's hurt. All right. So that means that your ego is stronger than the love that you are experienced to that person. So in other words, how much you love them, really, isn't it? It's kind of like, to me, it's, it was always to me, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. It always has been kind of, you know, irrational to do that thing to not contact the one you love just because you know your ego is is badly damaged for one or another reason but anyway going next to the spread here which are the things that you should do throughout the week we have the knights of cups and knights of cups it's one card saying that you are going to reach results not because uh once again you know you deserve them well yeah you deserve them not because it has meant to be that way not by a chance the knights of cups reach results based on hard work 
and not on a chance. Additionally to that, should you start working once you once you stir, you know, your efforts toward that goal, either a project into your career relationship or a person you want to date with and so on and so forth, it is very likely, guys, that you are going to, um, how can I place it, expand your arsenal of, uh, of means and tools to basically achieve the situation into success. So what I mean is that, for example, into your career, you may realize that you are not using a capability of yours or a skill of yours or a knowledge of yours into your relationship. You, uh, you are to become aware, you know, that you are not using certain circumstances in your favor, you know, to kind of like recuperate that relationship. For example, you know, if we are following this, uh, this lead here of that, you recently, you know, separated, not broke, but separated for one or another reason, picking up the phone and kind of, you know, stepping out forward with the facts that you are not only the one guilty for it and so on and so forth is also a way that you can do so that, that you can, that you can restore that relationship. But the thing, well, what I'm trying to say here with the uh, Knights of Cups is that as soon as you start working, you know, toward the um, desirable goal or desirable outcome of uh, your goal, it is likely that you're going to find new source of means and new source of, of support, if you want to say it that way as well, and support through facts, not through people, that you can very well capitalize on uh, and they are going to, as I said, expand your arsenal and will allow you to achieve your goal with much more ease than you first anticipated at the start of the week when you start doing something about it. The additional card here that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles and uh, the formation is uh, <clears throat> passive friends. So it does look like that you're gonna take your time or it is advisable for yourself to take your time. So but what this card points is that you are, if you are meticulous with your approach, this is something that you gotta do, all right? Uh, it is very likely that you're gonna time your actions very well. That's first thing. And second, uh, these couple of cards are depriving you of doing the wrong move for one or another reason. But that is only if you take your time to uh, kind of like gather up your strategies and systemize them in a, um, in a solid and reliable fashion, in a solid and reliable way. So <clears throat> by looking at this reading, uh, how can I place it? Looking at this reading and you say, oh my God, I got to reach out to my boyfriend. That is, or to my girlfriend that we recently, you know, kind of had an argue of. Yeah, okay, so that is right. But what you're going to say, all right? So take a moment, take a few hours, take a couple of days to think of what you are going to say. Because calling it straight away, either your girlfriend or your boyfriend, and just provoking another rango because you don't know what to say, additional or different from what you said to each other when you fought back in the day, it's not gonna help the situation. So you gotta be smart also about it. Additionally, these couple of cards here, Leo, are uh, pointing that <clears throat> with your work, a, a very helpful circumstances are going to arise. They are lurking behind the corner, all right? And they are waiting your performance to materialize. And as soon as you start performing, uh, things are gonna take a, a much better turn instead you know, or a much better condition. They are adopt, They are going to adopt much better condition. And in a, even in a couple of hours indulging yourself in the activity, you are going to, you should start seeing some improvement. And in a couple of days after the activity, or um, in a couple of days after you start making performance, you are going to see significant improvement here, especially when these... Um, new circumstances which are giving you, you know, even more means are to happen to capitalize on your expanded, uh, um, of your yeah, expanded uh, or sprawled arsenal of, um, of capabilities to make the things uh, right. 
And the last card that we do have for you guys, this is the final outcome of growth. Should you uh, follow the guidance of Tarot? This is the chariot and the chariot is all about triumph and is all about collecting the luck of one's hard work. Uh, it does point as well to singularity. And just like I said, that means that you should not ask for a help from other human being. Okay, so you need to only rely on yourself because this is the how you're going to maximize the benefits from your achievements as, for your achievement as well. Uh, this card points that you gotta as well, so that you are going to feel extremely proud of your achievements here. And in general, like I said, it's, it is about a triumph, <clears throat> okay? And it is about wish fulfilled. So once again, uh, if you want something, this week is the week where you gotta stand up and take it for yourself because no one is gonna give you is gonna give it to you on a platter. Either this is going to be a person promotion or a new job, you gotta start working for it, and that is the only way how you can materialize it. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the uh, five of swords. <clears throat> And what they, what these cards are forming are, or the formation of them is passive uh, supporters, and it means that the result of all of your toils throughout the week to um, either save your relationship, to improve your relationship, or to get a new job, to get that promotion, to achieve your project, and so on and so forth are going to give you enormous amounts of influence. They are going to give you as well enormous amounts of um, of power over others, really. With the Five of uh, Swords sitting there to the Chariot card, it does look like that uh, no one will be able to, to oppose you in any way. And that is very good for competition, okay? So if you compete, for example, for a uh, spot of a promotion into your career. This reading points that actually waiting for it is not gonna happen, all right? It's gonna be given to someone else, so you gotta recognize that. And it may be a bit uncomfortable for you to do so, but you gotta start, you know, pushing yourself forward in front of others to just to show that you are more capable than others and you are definitely going to be able to do so because the right moment is gonna be presented to you, the new circumstances, you want it in order to do so are going to be as well uh, there and you can capitalize on them. And there you go, you got your place and you got the power you needed. And at that point, however, with these couple of cards, the chariot and the, um, the five of swords, your ego is gonna be boosted because uh, let's face it guys, you prevailed against all odds <clears throat> and uh, as prevailing against all odds, you uh, for one uh, in one way you prove those who mocked at you and who tried to um, make you think of yourself that you're worthless were proven wrong, and from another standpoint is that basically you kind of surpassed your limits or basically the limits that others puts on you. So for example, you want to recuperate your relationship, everybody around you doubted in that they told you, they, they kind of like said, no way, he ain't going to be able to, or she ain't going to be able to, oh, guess what? If you start doing something about it, well, then you will be able to, and everybody is going to be surprised by the result. You are going to obtain that, as I said, power over that relationship, power over other people, and you are going to have your wish fulfilled, and you are to collect the luck of your hard work. <clears throat> so that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, that was a general reading for Leo star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different um, level with every single different uh, Leo. Now, if you want more personal touch, meaning that your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you a prediction for the future, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very first page, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.